Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of July the 9th through to the 15th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. First up, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position, followed then by the Ace of Pentacles reversed. And next, we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed followed by the Ace of Cups in the upright, and lastly, we have the Two of Cups in the upright. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. Leo, for your overall energy, you have that of the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. The Four of Pentacles upright, this is the happy hoarder card. <laughs> He's very happy hoarding all of his uh, cash and so forth. Um, this can represent uh, sometimes when we're saving for a trip or saving for a home or saving for uh, a school, uh, many things, courses, different things. Uh, this can also represent hoarding um, when we're holding on to material things way too much and we probably need to purge them. So the good news is, is that the card's in reverse, so maybe some of you are having a garage sale and choosing to purge some of your uh, non-needed anymore items. Uh, for others of you, this can represent just uh, perhaps you're no longer holding on to your finances for some reason. Maybe you've already used the money you were saving on the item or the, you know, the big ticket thing that you were saving for. And now you have, um, and now you have money problems. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles in reverse coming into the, uh, the beginning of the week, you have uh, aces always represent new beginnings, and this is represents new beginnings in finances and um, and security, new beginnings in jobs, like anything that the pentacles govern, which is tangible things, such as material items, um, uh, home, jobs, uh, finances. You know, uh, wow, I'm just drawing a blank here. Uh, it's a uh, reverse now, so it's almost like maybe coming into the week you could have spent your money on maybe on a big ticket item and perhaps now you're just sort of feeling a little bit of, yikes, what did I do? My financial situation isn't as healthy as it used to be. <laughs> um, or it could just be representing that um, maybe an inheritance or you know, a gift from the universe that you were expecting to come through just didn't come through at the beginning of the week for you. It's paired up with the Ten of Pentacles now in reverse. You go from the Ace to the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. As the Ten of Pentacles upright, this is about, um, you know, family, shared finances, and so forth, can represent inheritance and stuff. But when it's inverted like this, this points back to the Nine of Pentacles, which can sometimes indicate that maybe someone in the household uh, either maybe they lost their income or uh, someone moved out and you're not getting the extra income from them or yeah it could be that you know the, the ten of pentacles in reverse is not that bad it points back to the nine of pentacles where you can still look after yourself on a financial uh, on the financial front but it's not as good as it could be or it could be that you're waiting on an inheritance with these two paired up here it could be you're waiting on funds to come through. Maybe some of you spent your money on this big ticket item and now you're waiting for finances that were promised to come through and maybe at the beginning of the week it's just not happening. You'll have to leave me a message in the comment section below to let me know what this is all about. Uh, very confusing <laughs> at the beginning of the week. Now moving towards the weekend, energies change up quite a bit. Whatever is going on on the, the financial or uh, security front, uh, your love situation is fantastic because we have the Ace of Cups here. And this is moving towards the weekend of the 13th, 14th. This is new beginnings in um, love and sometimes it can represent creativity. It's an offer that sort of comes out of the anti-cosmos for you and this could be a chance to um, have a great relationship or have a great partnership with someone say in the creative field uh, sometimes people get emotional fulfillment from their job so it could even be an offer of something that you love to do or it could be an offer of something that you love to do for um, as a hobby even right because a lot of times people really love their hobbies so it could be something like that, but it definitely could be a relationship, especially when it's paired up with your last card in the read, 
two of cups in the upright position. This is beautiful energy. This is where we're simpatico with another person. This can represent getting along beautifully with our partner or getting along beautifully with somebody perhaps we just met. It looks like this is a, a beautiful energy together. The ace of cups and the two of cups. Really, really nice. So on the emotional front, it looks like you're in a really, really good spot this week. Um, Leo, I'm not really sure what's going on with your security and finances. Could just be a glitch here or a, a stalemate, just kind of like things are just stuck. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's not coming through. It just could be a change up in terms of finances. But the end of the week looks absolutely fantastic on the emotional front. So I hope this reading helped you, Leo. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.